Hi curl friends, Nashley Rhonda here. Welcome back to my channel. So about a week or so ago, I posted a picture on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is at Nashley Rhonda. I posted a picture, it was a throwback Thursday from I wanna say 2014 and my hair was a lot shorter than it is now. And some of the comments and messages I got regarding that picture made me realize I haven't told y'all anything about my natural hair journey. So as you can tell from the title of the video, that's what we're doing today. So this is a tag video and um, I'm tagging anyone who really wants to do this. I'm not trying to pressure anyone else to do it. If you wanna do it, cool. If not, that's cool too. So I have the questions right here in front of me and we're just gonna jump on into it. I don't want this video to be too, too long. So hopefully I'm not rambling too much. Number one, how long have you been natural? So my last relaxer was in November of 2012. Number two, why did you go natural? So my freshman year of college, I went to Howard University, H-U. One of my best friends had gone natural and she was just like, Rondi, you should go natural. You'd love it. Your hair would be so beautiful, blah, 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 blah. And I was just kind of like, mm, I don't know. Like, I mean, I guess, but my hair was long and healthy with a relaxer too as healthy as your hair could be when it's chemically straightened, but still it was long. So this was in like 2007 or 2008 and I really wasn't sure. I wasn't sold on the idea of it. As you can see, I didn't stop getting relaxers until the end of 2012. Number three, what was your partner and or family's response to you going natural at the time? My mom, she was excited about it because she was already in the process of going natural. And let me think, my boyfriend at the time, yeah, he was cool with it too. I mean, not that I would care, like it's my hair, I'm gonna do what I want. Side note, I really don't like how there are some men who give women a hard time because they wanna switch up their hair. Whether it be she's going natural or she wants to throw on a wig or a weave, get some braids, straighten it, whatever the case is, it's her hair. Let her rock, let her live. Number four, did you big chop or transition? I transitioned. I definitely did not want to big chop. That was something I knew in my head if I had to big chop, I wasn't gonna do it. So my friend Gladys, she did a big chop. I think she's actually done more than one big chop. My mom, she did a big chop. So in 2012, I was still living in Maryland, but I found a hairstylist down there that I loved and I was going to her every two weeks, faithfully, every two weeks. So she really, really helped me transition my hair. If you're in the DMV area, look up the Paris Beauty Bar. I still go to Paris to this day to get my hair colored. Yes, I live in New York and I travel down to Maryland to get my hair colored. But so basically because I was going every two weeks, I would just get my hair straightened but not relaxed. And then little by little, you know, you cut off the relaxed ends. And I just kept doing that until I felt comfortable enough to wear my hair curly. I would do braid outs with perm rods at the ends to make sure that the relaxed ends curled. Number five, what is the current length of your hair? So I'm just gonna insert a picture from a few months ago. This was the last time I did a length check type picture. I really need to just get one of those t-shirts that has the lines on the back. That's what I'm gonna do. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please click that box down below and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I post weekly videos. Number six, what is your hair goal? My hair goal is somewhere between healthy hair and long hair. Like I want long, healthy hair. So before I had long hair when it was relaxed, but it wasn't really healthy because it was relaxed and I couldn't go back and forth between curling and straight the way that I can now. The best way to describe my hair goals would be the Glam Twins, specifically Kelsey. I love her hair, straight, curly, I love it. 
that's goals for real for real number seven what is your hair type i'm not really big on hair typing because i know for me specifically i have multiple hair types in my hair and from what i understand most people do but for the sake of the tag i would think my hair is probably like 3c 4a but i could be wrong i didn't really do a whole lot of research on hair types when i understood it's more about your porosity. Do you have low porosity hair, normal porosity, or high porosity? I have low porosity hair. Number eight, what is your staple style? My go-to style is definitely wash and goes. Whenever I'm looking at new products, that's the first thing that I'm thinking, can I get a bomb wash and go from this product? But now I am getting more into twists. As you can see, twists and twist outs. Mini twists, I don't know if these are considered mini twists but I'm gonna call them mini twists. So y'all will be seeing more twist styles on my channel, but my go-to is still a wash and go. Number nine, what is your favorite protective style? Mini twists. They're really easy and they look super cute. I don't care what anyone says, you can wear these outside. I wear these outside, so I love them. Number 10, some of these are repetitive for me. Braid out or twist out, twist out. Number 11. Are you a product junkie? Yes, <laughs> I say it all the time. I own it. Hi, my name is Rhonda and I am a product junkie. And you know, I really don't think that there's anything wrong with being a product junkie, especially the way I do it because yeah, I'll buy a lot of products, but I also, I share the love. My friends and my family, they come to me just to get products. Number 12, what is your favorite product? That's that's such a loaded question. Like, maybe ask me what's my favorite gel or my favorite deep conditioner, but even that's loaded. I have a lot of deep conditioners that I love. I don't skip, I'm not answering that one. Number 13, do you co-wash? For the most part, no, because I like a really clean scalp. Because I have low porosity hair, I'm very prone to product buildup. So a co-wash really, isn't gonna get it for me. Number 14, what tool can you not live without? I'm gonna go with my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush because it just makes detangling so much easier. A close second would be my spray bottle. That, that's my close second because I love that misty spray. Number 15, describe your natural hair journey in one word, patience. Because trust me, this does not happen overnight. That's one of the things that I wanted. I remember it saying to my friend Gladys, if I could just wake up tomorrow morning with a head full of curly hair, that would be great. That's all I want. That's not the way this works. That's not the way any of this works. Number 16, have you ever thought about going back to a relaxer? There was a brief, brief moment when I had moved back to New York and I was trying to do my hair myself and I just, the issue, I wasn't detangling my hair properly. So because I wasn't detangling my hair properly, it would get matted and it would just be horrible. The, my wash day experience was horrible. I hated it, I wasn't happy. It was either I'm gonna get a relaxer or I'll be going to the salon every week to get my stylist here in New York to do my hair, which who could afford all that, or three, I, something's gotta give, I gotta learn something different. And thankfully, I figured it out. I figured out a way to do my hair properly and it not be a nightmare. Number 17, what do you like most about being natural? I love how being natural has really taught me to not let perfect be the enemy of the good. With my natural hair, I'm not super concerned about like, oh, that part right there, it's just, it's out of place and it is what it is. I let my hair do its own thing. There are frizzy pieces on these twists. I'm not tripping over it though. I'm still cute. Number 18, what do you like least about being natural? You see, my first thought would be, you know, how long it takes to do my hair or something like that, something about wash day or detangling or whatever. But I enjoy doing my hair once I get into the groove of it because it's my self care. It's something I'm doing just for me, nobody else. You know what it is? I really don't like how me having my hair natural makes people feel like they can 
touch it. Like who raised you? Why would you just come up to someone that you don't know and touch them? Now I've been places where I've seen someone with gorgeous hair. I don't touch them though. I'll go up to them and I'll say, excuse me, miss, excuse me, sir. Your hair is beautiful. Your hair is amazing. You look bomb, whatever. Your hair is bomb. You look beautiful. Your hair looks wonderful. I'm feeling that. Go girl, get it, whatever. You can compliment me without having to touch me, you know? Number 19, who is your favorite YouTuber and why? My favorite YouTubers, oh, that's hard. I can't just pick one, I can't. Okay, if I had to, had to, had to pick, like guns to my head, have to pick one, Glam Twins, it has to be, because they really helped me learn how to do my hair. But because I don't wanna follow these rules, it's my channel, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna do a top three. So Glam Twins still top number one. Number two would have to be Happy Curl, Happy Girl. I love watching her videos. I get, cause I feel like our hair is very similar. So I'll look at her videos to see like, okay, hold on. She reviewed this product. Is it gonna work for me? Is it worth my coin or no? And she's just hilarious. Number three would be Hazel Goddess. Her hair is very cute. And then she's fun size just like me. So I love watching her videos as well. Last but not least, number 20, shout out a girlfriend. So I will shout out Naturally Curlissa. I found her Instagram and then YouTube channel um, not too, too long ago, but she is like twist goals. It, she does her twists so many different ways. She'll do them really chunky, thick ones. She'll do smaller ones and it's so cute. Any way she does it, it's just gorgeous. I love it. I love her videos too. She's really funny and she's real like down to earth. If you're not following her on Instagram, you should follow her too. If there's anything that I haven't covered that you're curious about or whatever, just leave that down below in the description box. And if you like this chatty type tag, video then let me know and i can do more of these i love you for watching and i'll see you in the next one